everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on my favorite wallet from Kate Spade. It's known as the Stacy Wallet or the Cedar Street Stacy Wallet. I'll have it in the title and then link down below. This video is actually in response to a request from, from one of my recent subscribers, What Michelle Likes 101. And she commented that um, she would love to see a video about uh, my recommendation on a good wallet. So I'm going to share with you what my favorite wallet is. Um, it happens to work in the Mini Mac, which I own, which I know is a smaller purse. And a lot of people want to know what can fit in there. So this fits in smaller, um, like clutch style or crossbody bags. It does take up a good amount of room, but it does fit. And then also works in larger, medium size bags and the like. So let's just get into it. Um, I have this wallet from Kate Spade in the leather called Vivid Snapdragon. That's the color. And then the leather type is the um, cross grain or Safiano scratch resistant leather. So this wallet comes in the cross grain leather and it also comes in like the softer, more buttery feeling pebble leather. Um, however, that does uh, cost a little bit more. I think it runs about $120. And the one that I have in the cross grain leather was $100 exactly before tax. So, um, as far as durability goes, I would definitely recommend getting the cross grain leather like the one that I have. Um, it's very durable. I haven't had any problems with scratching. You know, I can stick it in my purse and my keys and not worry about having my keys covered up or like stashed away so they don't scratch it. I haven't had any problems. The only little bit of wear I have is on the little gold spade. I have like a little scratch to the gold covering, but other than that, the, the gold um, lettering has held up very well in uh, the outside and the inside. And then all of the varnishing that runs along the edges and the zipper pulls and the gold hardware, everything still looks brand new. And I've had it since June of 2015, so that's kind of a long time. Now is January 2016. So for having it used um, every single day in my backpack, in my purse, um, it has held up very well. And I really recommend it as far as durability goes. And plus, I'd say to save yourself some money and just go with the scratch resistant leather from the get go. But it also has a lot of storage, and that's why this is my favorite wallet to date that I've ever purchased because on the inside you can see there's a lot of credit card slots. There are seven along this side, five along this side, along with a um, ID window as well. And then behind each of the sides, there are two like slips. So um, there's a slip under the cards for coupons or whatever you want to put there, another slip over here, and then um, the slip that's closest to the inside of the wallet, I like to put money in, and then like bigger coupons over there. So there's lots of um, card pockets and then like stashable pockets on the inside. And even when you have it really full, it can get like bigger obviously and more stuff, but I haven't had a problem closing the button and I haven't had any problem with the varnishing cracking or like the leather showing any sort of like wear or um, like cracking or anything like that. So I like that you can hold a lot of stuff and then when you close it up, it doesn't take up too much real estate. So it's not taking up too much room in your bag. And that's why I love this the most and that's why I was most drawn to it, you know, besides the hot pink color. Um, you know, you can still have the, the storage of those like large zip around kind of wallets, but it doesn't take up as much room because those large zip around wallets wouldn't fit in the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac, but this one does. And so that's why I really love this because it's durable, it fits a lot, but it doesn't take up a lot of space in your purse. And then lastly, is it worth the price? You know, you hear $100, that's a lot for a wallet. Um, I have no regrets about me and my family paying full price for this wallet. However, there's no need for you to. You can sign up for Case Spade's emails. Um, they're not going to like send you any sort of promotional code, but they will send you promotional emails about sales that are going on. And frequently they put their sales section on sale. So they will offer with a uh, I guess it is a promotional code, um, an extra 25% off with the code like thrill or joy or something like that. It'll just be like a cute one word code and you get an extra 25% off of the sale already. Sometimes it'll end up being final sale, it depends on how big the discount is, but I really love that and that's how I was able to get my first uh, Kate Spade bag, which I did a video on, um, like two videos past. And um, their website, like I said, they'll put their sale on sale, but then they also will send out um, emails for surprise sales, which is like a different website. It'll be like surprisesale.katespade.com, and with those, you can find like, you know, my same wallet on sale for like three days, and then it'll be gone. But then like next week, they'll send you another surprise sale email. So if you just watch for those, there's no reason to pay full price if you don't want to. 
but it is worth it. I definitely think so. So I hope you guys found that video helpful. This is definitely my favorite wallet to date. I love it so much. The color is beautiful. It holds so much and it's held up so well. And yeah, that's just my recommendation for a good wallet. Thank you, What Michelle Likes 101, for um, recommending that I do this video. And I hope you guys found this enjoyable. And comment down below what you thought or if you have a favorite wallet that you think um, we would all like to know about, let us know. But, uh, yeah, have a great day, guys. Bye.